Hi, I'm Ramesh Prabhagaran, VP of Product Management at Viptela, and we are here to talk about Viptela's Zero Touch Bring Up, followed by an actual demo of the Bring Up process. It's been a lifelong dream of many network admins and operators to bring a site up in close to zero time. And if you look at the set of processes and stages involved in bringing up a site today, you can see that it's extremely onerous. At Viptela, what we have strived to do is actually simplify the overall process of a site bring up so that you can actually have a site up and running in less than a minute. Now let's look at the problem that you exist today. So from the vendor's manufacturing floor, you ship a device to a staging facility. It could be that of a partner or it could be the customer's own staging facility. And from there, after the initial bootstrap and config uh, download, you ship it to the final site where you have a skilled technician that then needs to coordinate with a knock, get the device up, do some initial configuration and checks, and then finally bring the site up after putting the full config on it. And if you've been involved in getting a site up um, in, in the dozens, you know that a, this process takes anywhere from two weeks to upwards of two months. Now, we thought, what if you could actually bring a site up in less than a minute? And that's exactly what Viptela Zero Touch Branch Bring Up really gives you, where from the manufacturing facility, you can ship one of the VH routers directly to the final site, where an office manager or a non-skilled person takes the device out of cling wrap connects one end to power, the other end to ethernet, and your entire site is up and running without absolutely any coordination required. So let's look at how this actually works. So you ship a VH device to the final site where somebody opens the box, connects one end to power, the other end to ethernet, and connects that to the wide area. The VH calls home into the Webtelag cloud, establishes its credentials, and learns that this VH belongs to this particular enterprise customer. From then on, the VH then contacts the enterprise's control components, establishes its credibility, and downloads its config. Now, we don't stop there. We actually want to go to the extent of establishing the final connectivity required so that we can very simply have a site up and running and just plug in host behind this network. So how does that work? The VH contacts the controller, learns about all the other entities that it needs to talk to as well, and establishes secure data plane with each one of them. So that very simply, if you have an existing network or if you want to plug in host directly into the VH, you can certainly do that and talk to your existing network. To us, this is zero touch branch bring up. Now let's look at all of this in action using a demo. Now let's see things in action. So here's a freshly delivered box from FedEx. I'm going to cut open the device and do exactly as I described earlier, take the device, connect one end to ethernet, the other end to power, and we will see the device talk to the existing network. So here's the freshly minted box. And we're going to take the, the power cables. So we'll power on the device. And initially what I'm going to do is not connect this particular device to the Ethernet port. I'll first show what the factory default config looks like. Then I'll plug in the Ethernet port to Gigi00, and then we'll watch the zero touch process be in action. Okay, now we have brought up the device, and I'm connected into the console of the device to show that it is going through the ZTP, the zero touch provisioning process. So the initial factory default configs 
look relatively simple. So if you just look at the running config of the system, it'll say that hey, I need to talk to a ztp.webtela.com as the phone home location where I need to then establish my credentials and talk to the right orchestrator to pull my configs. So now let's plug in the Ethernet port of the device into a standard WAN connection and I'll show you that the device goes through a process of getting a DHCP IP address so as you can see Gigi00 has gotten an IP address now it would have automatically now tried to connect with ztp.webtela.com and once it goes through that it will connect to the rest of the networking infrastructure automatically. You can see now I'm going through a phase of authenticating myself the device with the vSmart controllers and the vManagement station and once that happens I'll have a full control plane. Okay, so all the devices, all the control connections are up now and I can now see that the config has now been downloaded. So if I look, do a, a show running config system, I can say that it actually has a whole bunch of new additional parameters that it has actually pulled from vManage. And if I look at the connectivity now to the rest of the infrastructure, you can see that now it's securely connected with all the devices on the network. So that completes the process of ZTP.